Erica, good evening. There's a saying that we all have two things in common, death and taxes. And tomorrow, Indiana will be in the spotlight when the president comes here to detail his tax rate plan and to tell you how much he thinks you should pay in taxes in the future. John, how may I help you? John Gannon will talk taxes with the president during his visit to the state fairgrounds. Fair taxes are the key. You want to pay taxes that make sense. You want to support our government, our military. Uh, you want to, uh, the protection of our uh, local uh, police, fire department. Gannon is a father of nine. For the past 33 years, his business, Custom Wood Fencing, has served customers in multiple states, and he believes a proposed cut in individual and corporate taxes will be good for business and personal finances. Current tax code is it's too high federally. It's um, um, it's too uh, vast. It's it, it's way too complicated. Um, each year, it takes we take hours putting our taxes together as well as every other small business, I'm sure. While in Indianapolis, the president is expected to provide specifics on tax rate cuts, as well as the elimination of loopholes and making it simpler to file tax returns. And we should get more details tomorrow at the state fairgrounds beginning at 3 o'clock. Now, the president has chosen Indiana because he plans to highlight the vice president's economic record while he was governor. Mike Pence will not be traveling with the president, Erica. In fact, as you may recall, we were with the vice president in Anderson on Friday when the vice president spoke about tax reform plans. Interesting note. The one person that will be traveling with the president on Air Force One among the Indiana congressional delegation will be Democratic Senator Joe Donnelly. The president is looking for his support, especially in a Congress where Republicans for now have not, have not been very dependable on the president's plan. So we'll see what happens. And of course, we'll cover it for you live tomorrow. All right, Rafael Sanchez reporting live. Thank you, Rafael. And President Trump's remarks are now set for 3 p.m. tomorrow at the state fairgrounds. It was originally 5 p.m. The event is not open to the public, but you can watch it live on the RTV6 app and the RTV6 Facebook page.